Hello everyone, welcome to this little lesson on using capital letters. Now our goal today is to learn how to use capital letters in our writing when we're writing about key events. Key events refers to things such as Easter and Christmas, so they need a capital when we write. I'm also referring to geographical names. Geogra geographical names is another way to say places. So when we're writing Sydney or Melbourne or Victoria, they need capitals in our writing and also titles. Titles refers to Miss, Mister, the things that we call teachers definitely need capital letters when we're writing. So by the end of today, you'll be able to use capital letters for key events, geographical names and also titles in your writing. Let's get started. Now, this is a movie that you may have seen. This is the movie Paddington. I'm going to use this image of Paddington and the train driver or conductor to create a sentence which includes capital letters for the things that we spoke about on the last slide. So this sentence is going to have capital letters for geographical locations, for key events and also for titles. So I'm going to first of all make a list up the top of all the different words I'm going to include in my sentence that need a capital. Now I'm going to say that Paddington is catching the train in London. London is a location, so when I write London in my sentence, it definitely needs a capital. I'm going to use the character's name Paddington. Now that because that's a name, it's a proper noun and it needs a capital. I'm going to also say, I'm going to choose an event. I'm going to say that Paddington is catching the train at Christmas. So Christmas. I'm going to say Christmas Day. That's an important event and it needs capital letters. And the last thing I'm going to say is I'm going to name this conductor here. I'm going to name him Mr. Blue. Now, when you write a title, the title has a capital. So Mr. And also we need a capital for the name there, Blue. Mr. Blue. So watch this as I write a sentence, including capitals for geographical locations, for proper nouns, for special events, and also for titles. Okay. Paddington. Was nervous about. Notice how I don't have any other capitals yet except for at the beginning of the sentence. Was nervous about catching the train. Let's see if you can spot my capital for a geographical location in London. Hope you've spotted it. I've got one coming up for a special event on Christmas Day. Luckily, Mr. Blue, or I hope you've spotted my other capitals, was there to help. A full stop at the end of my sentence. Now, pause this video for a moment. Have a look through my sentence. I want you to find the capital at the beginning of each of my sentences. I want you to find the capital for a geographical location that I've used. I want you to find the capital for a title that I've used and also for a special event. All right, here are the capitals you should have found. Paddington, the start of a sentence and also it's a proper noun. Here is the capital letter for London, which is a geographical location. Oops, accidentally deleted that. Let me fix that up, which is a geographical location. Here are the capital letters for my special event, Christmas Day, a capital to start the new sentence, and a capital for the title, Mr. Blue. All right, let's go to the next slide, and I'd like you to try your own sentence. Now, I'd like you to pick one place, geographical location, one special event, And one title, like we've spoken about, Mr. 
or miss. And I'd like you to include these three different types of capitalization in one sentence. Pause this video and give it a go. Fantastic, your teacher will see that when they have a look at, um, at your book, or you can take a photo of it and add it to Seesaw, show them a great example of how you're using capitalization correctly. All right, the last challenge for you today, I'm gonna to write a sentence. This sentence is gonna have zero capitalization. You're gonna go through and find the title, the geographical location, and the special event and fix it up for me. Here's the sentence. Mrs. Besant was rushing through Kasula trying to find eggs to hand out for Easter. Okay, I'd like you to rewrite that in your book with the proper capitalization. Fantastic, if you've done it properly, check it against mine and see how you went. Now, Mrs, that's a title, definitely needs a capital. It's also the start of the sentence. Besant also needs a capital letter. Mrs. Besant was rushing. Now, I hope you found this next um, capital, which was a, for a geographical location, Kasula. Definitely needs a capital. Geographical location. And there's one more coming up. Trying to find eggs. Oops, that wasn't great. To hand out. Here it comes. Special event, Easter. Definitely needs a capital letter. One, two, three, four. I hope you found them all. Well done. What I want you to do is the next piece of writing that you do, your challenge is at the end of the piece of writing, you're going to go back through and make sure that you've included proper capitalization for the things that you've learned about in this video. I look forward to seeing how you go.